What's going on guys, Matt over here, Lethal Garage, and today I'm bringing you a video not only on something brand new, shiny, and pretty, but it's something that I was literally flip-flopping on. I was literally gonna buy this. I am at Paradise Chevrolet here in Temecula, California. They have just received their brand new 2019 Chevy Silverado. It's an LT model. This is literally the truck I was gonna be looking at. As much as I wanted this, what, the Z71 or whatever package, I don't know, but this is the first truck. Let's take a look at it and see if I made the right choice going with the truck I had or should I have waited for this bad boy? Let's check it out. As you guys know, the exterior, the new redesign, it's pretty controversial with truck guys, especially Chevy guys. It's like a 50-50 wash from what I've seen. But I'm gonna get to the exterior last because they literally just got this truck, they're detailing it. I wanna check out the interior. The big thing that was, uh, that was turning me off, at least initially, I think they'll care if I get in. Yeah, I'm just gonna get in this truck. Just put all the seat all the way back. Let's see how much leg room. So I'm six foot five. Yeah, there's decent leg room. It's good. Here's the center car. This is what killed me. So if you guys looked at Dodge and what they just rolled out, they have that like freaking Tesla style center screen. And Dodge or uh, Chevy's just like, oh here you can have our maybe I think this might be eight inches, maybe even seven inches. Um, but being an LT model, you know, they give you. That's blocked off. I have no idea what that is. Probably a module for four, four wheel drive. This is probably a two wheel drive, huh? Yes, it's two wheel drive. I bet you this is where the module is for four wheel drive. Um, you can lower the tailgate from a button. Oh my goodness. Did you guys just see that? There's a tailgate button to drop it. I bet it probably doesn't lift it back up though. No, nope, it doesn't. So that's pretty cool. Uh, auto roll down, some windows, you got heated heated seats so you got the top bottom side that's cool you get the dual zone just like the previous lt model uh definitely looks like they <laughs> is that the most pointless glove box ever right there it is that's a deep box let's check out the center this is literally like i would have bought this truck probably if, the, if this was me because it has the center bench for the extra so it's a six seater um which is cool what do they got here? They got the seat belt. Oh, it's like the over the shoulder belt right here. Um, they do have a pad here. I'm assuming the higher end versions get the charge pad. This opens up for a leather, another smaller container. And then it looks like they have a micro USB and a regular USB full size next to a full cigarette lighter. That's interesting. It is push start and the gauge cluster is pretty generic. Let's see if the key's in here so we can do some accessory mode turn some stuff on here is the boot up taking a little bit so this is actually the new infotainment 3.0 system if you guys haven't seen this this is literally the brand new setup and I need to turn music out here we'll turn volume on so we don't get a uh, copyright flagged uh, but you'll see the new setup here uh, this is the infotainment 3.0. You can see they've done a lot of upgrades. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto comes standard. Um, hey, trailer lights. We don't have anything plugged in, so it's probably not going to work right. Of course not. Uh, phone, audio, you get your audio, AM, FM, all the Bluetooth. I'm assuming XM radio. No, no XM radio. I don't see XM. Is that a separate, separate setting? I don't know. Swipe camera. What's the camera? Where am I turning a camera on? I'm not. I'm not turning on the camera. I'm assuming the truck has to be on. What do we got here? So Bluetooth connect, all that stuff. It's got the 4G LTE. Does this have nav? It looks like it might have nav. Maybe. Did I miss it? Am I blind? I'm blind. And no nav. So settings, interesting stuff, just basic here. This is a pretty basic vehicle, but again, this is what I would have probably got um, but let's check out the back seat. Front seat seems pretty good. The bucket seat sitting in this seat here. It's pretty comfortable. I like the design. Looks better than my Dodge. I'll give them that. Uh, and you got your overhead console. Never want to forget that. And no, no buttons for home link. So looks like that comes with an upgraded model. For all you ladies out there, no light. Well, that's a nice big mirror for the ladies. Yes, yes. Bueno. So, the back seat seems like it's pretty spacious. Now keep in mind, I have the front seat 
all the way down right now or all the way back right now <clears throat> being six foot five i fit pretty comfortably i mean my knees don't touch there's a, a space but again this seat is all the way back and you do get air vents in the center you do get a couple usb ports and a cigarette lighter some speakers we'll check out the the seating itself so it's a split bench get the big little looks like uh some storage cubby containers down in here sorry it's a little dark you can see your your toe or not your toe but your jack and the rods and all that stuff so that looks cool uh outside of that that's pretty much it for the interior there is some lights so you do get lights my truck doesn't have lights i wonder if these seats go down nope they do not go down maybe they do there's a pole here i don't want to rip it apart but looking good no gas cap you get the rear step easy access so there is a camera on the back of the tailgate how do you actually oh it's a push button oh that is legit okay so they put a push button there's no more handle that's cool interesting so you push the button and it's a slow slow drop slow drop nice texture back bed obviously naked here looks like it has some uh, setups so if you want to add lighting along the side uh, there is actually a couple lights here on the back side for loading so that's cool and then you get a nice big light up in the top side no uh no exit our rear third window you can see the new tail lights it's an interesting design it's really bulky but the controversy comes with these rounded corners and bulging sides right i do like the position of the silverado eric here who brought me back here where the truck is he's like yeah it looks nice i, I like it looks good you get a nice little chrome accent with a black trim on the mirror standard gm wheels oh we should pop the hood we should pop the hood this one has a nice black bow tie on it looking clean you can see a place for fog lights this one doesn't have them where are you oh ring stuck what, what motor is in here is this a 5.3 this is interesting this is a uh, mechanics nightmare right here I'm assuming they did this for airflow to come up through the engine as well. It's really hard to see. There's nothing, there's holes in the hood. I wonder what that's for. I'm curious. So this one does have the 5.3. So basically the same motor that's in my Suburban. Nice big air filter on it. But this headlight, like it is like three pieces. Or it's one big piece. I'm trying to figure out how this headlight works. I wonder if this piece is separate and the headlight just moves in between it. Because look, yeah, there's like a lower grill. portion, a center, and an upper. The grill probably comes off and it sits one piece behind it. Yeah, dude, it's one giant freaking headlight. That's crazy. There you go, nice little hollow interior. It's just fairings. You don't need uh, anything else on these trucks. I like the hood. It doesn't have the crazy dips like the big, the 18s had, you know, like if you parked on an uphill, you'd have a puddle of water sitting in the hood. No, it should do it. It's gotta be a man. Yeah. It is a truck. <laughs> it is a truck. Okay. So, let's get in there. Oh, keys in there. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good clean truck maybe uh they'll be finished washing it we can get a, a nice walk around of it here's an interesting thing i've never seen i don't know if you guys could see in the camera but you can see the the coating that they put on there for debris and stuff that hits the bottom line of the truck it's actually in the paint it's kind of cool some people would be like that's terrible orange peel but it's like right up where rocks and debris would splash up like again i i hope you can actually see it yeah i can see it through the gopro Pretty subtle, yeah, yeah. From a distance, you can't see it. Like, it just blends in. 
So the one thing to highlight here, I actually finally looked at the sticker. This truck does have the all-star package. So it adds a lot of those additional plugs in the back. I believe it, it does add that, that slow um, drop tailgate, all that stuff. As you guys know, I went on eBay and got the, the DZ set up for 24 bucks. So, but this has its stock, cooler, right? But it is kind of cool, it doesn't have a handle, but it does look a little wonky not having a handle there, right? Is it just me? It's just like, you're like, where's my handle? And you're like, ugh, button. Is, people are gonna take a while to figure that out. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Definitely interesting here. It feels a lot taller than my truck. Hey, look, yeah, that's the ride height though, right? It, the ride height feels like it sits higher. It does have a nice plastic edge. I, I mean, Dodge does the same thing. They put the the branding in their tailgate. I, I don't think that doesn't, I don't think that looks bad. I'm okay telling people I'm driving a Chevrolet. They're going back to that classic 60s and But 70s. it's very tall. Like this tailgate has to be like six to eight inches taller. I swear mine's like only like that high. No, I think the whole body, I'm looking at it now, I think the whole body kind of looks extended. No, Cause like just the, the bed of the truck looks deeper in my opinion. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 once you said it, I started looking at it, like, I agree 100% cause you look at the sides here, it's like from the top to the bottom of this thing. Yeah, no, it's, it's, all. And of course we don't have, wait, this trucker? There's this one. This isn't a new one, but I think it might just be a Chevy thing. I think it's just. No, see, that's shallower. That's, yeah, that's definitely shallower. Yeah, they, they definitely dropped it down to match. You, the, yeah. You get a much, you get a lot more capacity in the back. Yeah, it's definitely deeper. I don't know why I'm excited about that, but whatever. New features, man. Yeah. Different stuff that changes it up. But it's just weird, like I'm a tall guy. Like if you're a short guy, yeah. like it's gonna suck trying to reach over the bed of your truck. I'll say that. Well, you're gonna need these guys for sure. Yeah, that's, that's why they integrated these. That's This is probably the height of like the old bed right here. Yeah. And they're like, okay, we got the new one. Let's put the step there for the short we guys. We put a step in there for all the there's, other guys. There's the Chevy Chrome tip you can get added. Nice $140 feature. <laughs> Full size tire underneath there. Nice big exhaust, just like my Dodge. This one does have the push button lock and unlock, uh, although the key's inside, so it's being really weird. And you still get a normal antenna on top of the satellite. Actually, I think that's for the Wi Fi, not so much satellite. I don't think this truck came with the XM radio package. But I do like the way the lights are set up on this thing. I really wish this one had the fog lights though. I wanted to see what those look like. It's missing, gone, gone forever. But a lot of chrome on the front. I think like the chrome, you guys, I mean, I talked about this a while ago, but the chrome on the previous generation was kind of an eyesore to me. On this one, it actually looks nice because there's a lot to break it up. There's a lot of black inserts here. And I don't know if that's just because it's the all-star edition or not. Um, but they did add the black bow tie that makes it look really clean. Just looks like a really nice truck. It's pretty. I like it. I don't care what you guys say about the new body style. I like this body style. So as you guys know, I was in the market looking at the LT and I was looking at my Dodge Ram 1500. I always liked the Dodges. That's why I ended up getting one. Uh, and the price was also a huge issue or a huge reason. Um, but with this truck here, this thing has everything I would be looking for. I really like the body style. I like the way it looks. And for it being just an LT, there's quite a few things that this truck has that mine doesn't. Now, mine has a bigger screen and all that stuff, but I will say the screen in my truck, the whole Alpine system is kind of crap at the end of the day after using it now for over four or five months. Um, but I really think GM has done some really cool things here. Um, the deeper bed, I mean, if you're a tall person, you're gonna love it. If you're short, you're probably gonna hate it. Um, the built-in drop gate, that's cool. The interior feels bigger. Uh, it definitely feels a little more spacious than even my, my Dodge. Um, but I will say the electronics itself, like, you know, they feel like they could use a couple more upgrades, maybe a slightly bigger screen. It is an eight inch, sorry, I did look at the thing. So it's definitely eight inches. But everything else is pretty truckish, right? You get all your tow features, winter and race and winter, cool little buttons here, heated and cooled seats, or heated seats and heated steering wheel, which come with the all-star package. 
they definitely give you a lot of storage and again this is the the bench seat setup so you get six seats um, which is exactly what I would be getting if I if I was to get one so I will say the trimming on the inside of this truck is definitely finished better than the Dodge at least the 18 I will say um, the doors feel heavier and nicer which means probably the trucks a little bit heavier but you get your storage pouches in the back mine didn't have that you know it's the little things that you start thinking about so yeah 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500 two-wheel drive so it's missing quite a few things but has all the other necessities It is humid and hot out here. I apologize for all the sweating. I do it a lot, but it's still 100 in Southern California. But there you have it. Chevy Silverado 2019 LT. 1500, this is a two wheel drive. I believe it's already sold, um, but it's a really nice looking truck. I really like it. I know there's people out there that don't like the new redesign, um, but I think it looks really clean. The problem is, is this truck's literally $20,000 more expensive than the one I got. <laughs> so is it worth $20,000 more? That's up to your pocketbook. But this is a brand new truck without incentives. So uh, I believe the sticker price between my truck and this one, this one has more options if I was to pay sticker than mine and they're about the same sticker price. So something to consider. But. There you have it. That is the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Thanks for checking out this or the truck in this video with me, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, post them down below. I'll try to get as much information around this um, as possible, being able to see it in person. You guys might have questions that maybe I didn't cover, uh, but likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Hit subscribe, follow all sorts of stuff from Lethal Garage. And until next time, guys, I do hope to see you on the road.